D'Angelo, can you just give us a little idea of what it's like to play a game like that with so many emotional swings, so many things that get in the way and being able to overcome and outlast and, and come out on top there? Yeah, I mean, you, you go into a game like that and you know the preparation, you you, you build up all the pressure in your, in your own head. You know what I mean? You, you want to perform. It's our first TV games. It's all or nothing. You know, you put the, your, your own pressure on yourself. So, um, I don't know, I, I try to um, I try to treat it like I've been there before, you know, and um, attack that situation like like tonight, like um, just trusting my preparation, you know, just putting my all into my preparation, knowing that I can fall back on my preparation. It's almost like faith, you know? You, you got your own faith, but when it comes to being a professional, you got to trust your craft, you know? Um, it's going to be up there. It's going to be ups. It's going to be downs. It's going to be whatever, but if you trust it and you – commit to it and lock in it, it, it comes back it returns the favor did you know just with the way the game was going with cat and foul trouble and things did you just have to step up even more ag aggressively offensively I, mean, I was coming to the game with the mentality of being aggressive so um i was gonna run out of bullets before i felt like i didn't play a part in it so um i think Teams try to do that. They try to take Cat out. We knew that going into the game. So our preparation was all about how we're going to play without him, how we're going to play, you know, off of him, you know, utilize them, you know, denying them and making things tough for him. And I thought our group responded well. The pull-up three that you hit in the fourth there, that hasn't always fallen for you this year. Do you just keep trusting yourself and just wait for those moments and, and let it fly without hesitation? Yeah, I mean, that's a prime example. You know, you, you – take a pregame nap and you think about all the shots you're going to get. You think about all the defensive assignments. You think about all the shots you're going to take and make. You dream about it, you know, but then when you get out there, you know, it might not go that way. And it's it's what you're going to do next. And um, obviously shots don't fall every game. So how are you going to impact winning now? And um, I try to, you know, control that effort throughout the whole season. If it was defensively, if it was coaching guys, it was still trying to impact winning, even if the shot's not falling. Defense was up and down for this team down the stretch, some good, some bad. But is there just a confidence that when you guys need to, you are going to sit down and guard like you did tonight? Uh, I mean, it's, you play so many games, you know, you, it's hard to, you know, get up for every game and, and lock into that. But um, I always say we got a young group, so the things that we're, you know, going through that may seem easy to do, it's all a part of the process. And um, our group's been up and down. You know, we want to guard some nice, some nice. We don't. But when we do, you know, we, we, we impact the game. And offense is just two times easier than it is if we're not guarding. So it's just a, a commitment and, and knowing that teams have trouble scoring on us if we, if we come ready to play. Is tonight a prime example of why it's so valuable to have three guys who can really take a game over offensively? Yeah, yeah, huge. Um, I was just talking to Kat. I was saying, you know, all season, you got to realize all season you've been dominating these teams. So if a team gets one chance to to beat us, they're going to say, what can we take away? And they did a good job of doing that. And um, throughout the season, we had um, just a few laps on how we were going to play. What was our identity if Cat wasn't, you know, Cat? And um, our preparation going into this game was huge. You know, a lot of film, a lot of focus on the details on what we were going to do, what continuity we were going to still have, you know, when teams try to do that. And um like I said, our group responded well. Our whole group, everybody, you know, everybody played a part. Daniel, in the in the second half, they they went they went small at times, taking their centers off the floor. And that's kind of when you guys went on went on your run there at the end of the game. Why were you able to take advantage of that of the smaller unit? I just, I like I said, our, our preparation. You know, I feel like we had an idea on what they were going to do. Um, year to us, um, I don't recall playing in any of the games we played them. So they didn't see us with me and we seen a lot of what they were trying to do. So it was kind of a, an advantage on our side. How do you balance out between what taking what the defense gives you and providing what your team needs at the time? You had five dimes in the first quarter and one point. I think it was like 27 points and just maybe one dime or two yeah. after that. 
is it a matter of seeing what your team needs or is it a matter of seeing what the defense gives you and, and sometimes you have to force your way through one or the other? Uh, I never try to force it. You know, I feel like um, I consider myself a hybrid, you know, when it comes to um, the game, point guard, shooting guard, whatever you want to say, I'm a hybrid because I might be better than your point guard. And I might be better than your shooting guard. So throughout that night, you got to realize what, what it's going to be. And a lot of teams um, – guarded us and, and made us play, you know, we, we put up points all year. We put up, we scored at a high rate, but when teams made us play in the half court, how are we going to affect the game? And I feel like that's my strength. You know, when the team slows the game down, you got to think it and you got to capitalize on their mistakes and, and let the game come. Like I said, I don't want to force it because I can pass out of a bad shooting night, you know, and I can shoot myself out of a big turnover game. So it's just like um, just taking what they give you, recognizing it sooner the better. Especially early in the season, we talked a lot about you, know, you Ant, and Cat developing chemistry together tonight. You and Ant, you know, kind of had to take it to the finish line here. How has your chemistry just with him grown over the course of the season? Oh, it's amazing. You know, he's he's coachable. Ant's a, he's a freak, you know, when it comes to the game. What he brings to the game, I think, is it's, it's been on display just a little bit this season. You know, um, it's just inconsistency as a young player. That's what you, you deal with. But I can't imagine what he's going to look like when he has that consistency under his belt. He knows how to prepare and he knows how to be consistent within this preparation. Uh, our chemistry is grown. You know, um, if it's me, him, and Pat, if it's Pat, Cat, and Ant, if it's any three of our guys, Coach does an amazing job of putting a system around us to where we can just, you know, play. You know, you don't have to really think. You just play. So just just utilizing what we have. I think we got a lot of pieces that complement each other. And like I said, coaching and staff do a great job of putting us in those places. D'Angelo, I apologize that this was asked earlier, but did you see that woman run onto the court and did you know that she was gluing herself to the court? No. Did, did anybody explain that to you or did you know? I didn't ask. 